Just five years ago, this village was devastated by drought. Wells were dry, people were leaving, and poverty was the rule. But then they entered the Pawnee Foundation's Water Cup competition, and their fortunes changed forever. Well, welcome for you. Oh, okay. Got him. Welcome to Maharashtra, India. I was here three years ago with Dr. Abhinash Pohl visiting two villages that had done very well in the Pani Foundation's Water Cup competition. And I saw the incredible work that these villages had done to solve their water problems and recharge their groundwater table. The Pani Foundation facilitated the Water Cup competition, which enabled thousands of villages to literally fix their water problems. The work of the Pani Foundation is transforming landscapes, regenerating ecosystems, regenerating water tables at a scale and a speed greater than any other project that I've seen on the planet. So three years went by and I found everybody wanted to know what's the Pani Foundation doing now? So the first village that I visited, Pimpri Jalson, and it was just a wonderful experience to visit this village. They welcomed us so warmly with the turban wrap, the dancing children. We visited the school and talked to the kids. We visited their village temple and we honored their village gods. And uh, I just had a really exceptional experience in Pimpri Jalson. is Mr. Abhimanyu Prabhu Thorat. He's a farmer, progressive farmer of this village. And the farm pond made by him during the water cup competitions in 2019. The area of this farm pond is 200 feet by 200 feet uh, by 34 feet. It's deepen is a 34 feet near about one crore liter of water is stored in this farm pond. One crore liter. Yes. Means uh, 10 million. 10 million. Was this done by hand or by machine? No, this is done by machine. Huh. But it's a part of competition. On that channel, huh, we made a stone structure, okay? This is a silt traps. So, silt get trapped and normal water will come to the second pit, clean water. There is another pipe is buried which comes into the well. And it recharges the well. Now we are on the top of the hill. You can see the hill is treated by CCTs, deep CCTs. Uh, on the channels, we made a loose boulder structures. Hmm? After that, you can see the farm ponds. Then even you can see the greenery. Uh, on the double side, you can see the greenery. It's a total barren land before the competition. But you can see the water can change uh, many scenarios. The, you can see the greenery in the downstream areas. And uh, people are now able to cultivate their land, which is a barren one. Right now, we are only in one watershed. Like this watershed, there are seven watersheds in this village. Ha. If you treated all the watershed na, of the village, na, even 300 millimeter rainfall is enough ha, to fulfill your requirements. What is the total area of this village? It's near about 1,000 hectares. 1,000 hectares. Mm. What percentage do you think they did treatments? Near about uh, 60 to 70 percent of the watershed treatments are done by the villagers in our competition. Before the competition, in before 2019, the villagers are facing a uh, water problem. They have to get the water from near about five kilometers from this area. Then the problem of uh, irrigation for the agriculture, drinking water, animals, drinking problem. But in the competition, the people get gathered together and they took the training from Pani Foundation. 
the five peoples from the village are came for the training and the five people changed the minds of the other people during the competition period villagers made all the structures of the watershed management cctv deep cctv loose boulder structures recharge pit deepening of the nalas farm pond well recharge the rasland developments many things and after the competition uh, adequate rainfall is happened and that's why the ground water table is increased a lot the top portion of this village near about 50 acre is it treated with the cctvs hmm. once the cctvs get recharged with water the overflow uh, comes into the, this recharge pit this recharge pit helps to increase the water table level ground water table level and near about exactly the same 50 to 100 acre land get recharge with the help of this recharge pit such type of recharge pits are near about 22 in number in this village so they dig it by hand or by machine no no they dig it by machine what the pani foundation realized is is that great so all these people have water now but how are they going to use that water in the most effective way in the way that is going to create the greatest prosperity and natural abundance for the villages from last two years we held another competition namely satyamev jayate farmer cup in satyamev jayate farmer cup ha uh, the focus is that to increase the income of the farmer but it happens only when the farmers get gathered together so part of the competition is that the farmers should gather together they form a group of the farmers and even in this competition near about 1500 different crops groups are participated so they gathered some of the best experts in india and taught the villagers standard operating practices sops for all of the different cropping that the villagers were hoping to do and the villagers through covid met online with the top production experts in india and gained the knowledge in order to compete against each other in the farmers cup so we are here in maharashtra the last 4 days of the competition prior to the water cup competition they were basically growing two crops millet and sorghum and they were growing these crops during the monsoon season and when the monsoons failed they had to migrate away for low paying work either in the cities or as farm laborers in other areas and the crop diversity now in this small watershed village is really exceptional now they are taking watermelon onion pomegranate lady finger flower papaya even the milk production before the competition is very low near about 1000 liter per day but now it is 3000 liter per day so the powder which is required they can grow here only the maize and other things they grow here only and this change happen only because of the water dr pole listed off the many different crops that they're growing now but imagine a village going from literally two crops to 20 crops and milk abundance they did a full watershed treatment they recharged their water table expanded crop diversity they spread out their farmland they're growing multiple crops in a year two or three cropping periods in a year where before they only had one cropping period they've taken the resources they grew this beautiful miwaki forest these are the native plants the villagers are nature lover now <laughs> after the competition definitely it helps to build the soil improves the water table also especially in the morning session you can uh, listen a voice of many animals birds even right now you can hear a voice of birds yeah yeah ha huh. 
in another part of the village this thing is not listening <laughs> but here you can listen this is the difference when you say that five years ago this village only grew two different crops yeah i almost don't believe you when i go around this village because there is so much growing here and this is the dry season this is not the monsoon planting this is a yeah, time yeah. when you'd be planting a second crop because you have groundwater reserves for irrigation so all the crops that we're visiting here are irrigated because of the great work that they did in 2019 in the water cup competition yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, it's kind of astounding to me. It's just hard to imagine that its entire fortunes were turned around in five years like this. In the last five years, the definitely dramatic change we have seen because the people are gathered together. They fight against the drought. Now they fight against the climate change and uh, all other things with the proper knowledge. Even if they are getting the proper knowledge, they are trying to implement it. And that's the reason the prosperity is seen. Mm. Even in Water Cup, they took knowledge from the Pani Foundation, how to do the watershed treatment. Huh? They implemented it. They got the results. In Farmer Cup, they get the knowledge from the Pani Foundation scientists, scientists from various universities, and they implement in their farms. Huh? They get the results. This is the key. Knowledge is the key. Huh? The important thing of any success is the knowledge. Nice. And one other thing that we mentioned talking to the farmers today is not only are they resilient to drought, but because of all of the water catchment and storage and recharge structures in the upper watershed, they're also resilient to flood. Climate change, erratic rainfall events around this part of the world, we're seeing these dramatic erratic rainfall events, but a system like this can buffer the shocks of heavy rainfall and buffer the shocks of drought. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, there's definitely like a feeling of deep stability here. Yeah. Stay tuned for the next episode of India's Water Revolution 2023, where we visit another village that participated in the Pani Foundation's Water Cup and Farmers Cup competitions and changed their fortunes from poverty to prosperity. <laughs> <laughs>